children, students. A very happy morning to you all. It's a great pleasure and privilege to be amongst you all to speak to you today at the invitation of Reverend Brother Dr. Anthony Reddy who came here from Little Flower High School, Abbots, Hyderabad where I studied also. The way I have been groomed in Little Flower High School, I am sure, I am confident that you all will be groomed by our respected brothers and one day, 50, 60 years hence, you will be like me addressing children and students of this very school later as very alumni persons. I chose to be going to the Indian Army when I was in Little Flower High School. I wrote the Union Public Service Commission examination for National Defence College, Defence Academy, which is located at Khadakwasla, Pune. And I got selected when I was just after 11th standard. And from there on, my life in the Indian Army, Bharti Asena, started. And 41 years of non-stop work for the development of the Indian Army, my own regiment, and the people living along the border areas was a great joyous journey for me. When I was a student like you in Little Flower High School, I used to be very studious and very conscious of gaining knowledge. So all of you should strive to gain as much knowledge as possible. In my days, we used to depend on the newspaper and the All India Radio. Now, you are exposed to computers, internet, laptops and mobile phones and television where you can gather as much knowledge as possible. All of you are different. You have different passions and interests and hobbies. Whatever you like, whichever subject you like, you should develop interest in that. You should study more about that so that you can be an expert in your subject. Whether it is mathematics, physics, fine arts, social sciences, humanities, etc. The choice of the subject will be decided once you grow out of the school and enter 11th and 12th class and beyond that. Now the time for you is to develop your moral values. All the good things that your parents and teachers have taught you. Like truthfulness, cleanliness, helpful nature, etc. You should play well. If you play on the sports field, you will develop good body, strength and also the skills of being a team member and empathy. If you are playing on a football field and if you have to score a goal, you have to be helped by your team members to take the ball up to the goal post and then one of the team members will kick it to make it a goal. That way, this team is very important 
and you as individual members of the team are very important to achieve the goal so i spoke to you about good the sports you have to also have good healthy eating habits whatever your parents and mother gave you should eat it you should not go not go for coca cola and chips and which are available and pizzas available in plenty what your parents give you is best for you with that you will grow stronger bodies and you will have a healthy mind with that you can progress in life in your childhood in the student days with the guidance of your teachers and parents you should select a goal for yourself like for me when i was in class 7 8 i decided that i'll join the army time management is very very essential you are distracted by so many events like the television serial or what is available on the mobile which you are doting parents may have gifted you on your birthday perhaps not to the so small students but for the senior classes you have to manage your time well so that you complete your homework you prepare for next day's class and also devote time for sports along with your friends if you manage this time well you will be doing well on all fronts you have to inculcate self discipline it was very heartening to see today morning how you all came for the assembly stood in line i was along with brother and my family were guided by the senior students to the to this place so these are parts of discipline so here discipline is being imbibed in you by the principal and the teachers and your seniors you have to imbibe self discipline that whatever is told to you by your teachers and parents that you remember it and you do it continuously day after day to be self disciplined you have to be truthful never say a lie whatever it is the results are cleanliness so when we were young foreigners used to say that india is not the tourists who used to come they used to say that india is not clean though mahatma gandhi has said cleanliness is next to godliness but in recent years the awareness of clean environment swachhata has been imbibed in the citizens of the country by our leadership of prime minister mr modi now we see that there is competition to make cities cleaner and greener this we should imbibe and we should keep your houses as well as school premises and your playgrounds very clean next is protecting our environment the mother earth the air and the greenery around us we should save water we should save electricity today myself and my family members were presented saplings if all the children in this world were to plant a sapling each on their every birthday imagine how much of greenery would be there in the world with this greenery we get 
food to eat, we get good air to breathe and healthy environment. We should preserve nature. Now, technology is progressing very fast. There are newer things available to you which were not available during our times. Brother told me that you have artificial intelligence, computers, exposure and the goal of your school itself is strive for excellence. Every day when you come for assembly, you should say that strive for excellence. So with the help of the technology and the, which is growing at a rapid pace, you should strive for excellence in whatever field you choose. With this, I wish all of you a very bright future. I am sure you will live up to the motto of this school. You will strive for excellence and become good big boys like me and my son who is a BE MBA from Pune University. God bless you all. Jai Hind. Thank you sir for igniting the minds of our students.